Good morning, church. Good morning. This is the day that the Lord has made, and we rejoice and be glad in it. Welcome to all of you worshiping in person, even though it's a little hot and a little sweaty in here. Uh, God is with us wherever we may be, hot or cold. So we welcome all of you who are worshiping in person and all those online. So welcome, welcome to this worship service. If you are able, let us stand and you know, respond to the call to worship. In the meeting of our lives, be the focus of all that we are. We bless you, Lord. In the singing of the hymns, the prayers that we shall make, we celebrate you, Lord. In the reading of your word and the preaching of the same, we adore you, Jesus. Speak to us and encourage us as we say goodbye and hello at the same time. We trust you, Holy Spirit. Let us pray. All in all, oh, sorry. the of our Bye -bye. lives. Lord, be the focus of all, all that we are. are. Amen. Amen. Thank you. <laughs> Let us pray. Oh, gracious and loving God, we give you thanks for this day. For every day is a gift, a blessing from you. But tomorrow is not promised. So we are grateful that you woke us up this morning and brought us here to this place, to this house of worship, to pray, to sing, to give praise to you. So now we ask that you bless our worship service. Bless all those who are gathered here in person and online. Bless the preacher. Bless the music team. Bless all of us so that we can lift up our voices and lift up our hands to give you all the praise. So hear our prayers, O oh gracious God. In Christ's name we pray. Amen. Amen. Let us be seated and let us now hear from our praise team. Deacon Gigi, would you make sure everybody has a fan and a bulletin? If you don't have a fan and a bulletin, raise your hand and Deacon Gigi will take care of you. Beautiful. 
Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Lord, thank, thank you, Lord. Lord. We bless your name, God. Thank you, Jesus. You're worthy. Thank God. you, Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We give you glory. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Amen. 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 Thank you to the praise team. Thank you. Jesus. Let us now unite in the prayer confession in your bulletin. Almighty God, you have raised Jesus from the grave and crowned him Lord of all. We confess that we have not bowed before him or acknowledged his rule in our lives as we ought. We have gone along with the way of the world and failed to give him glory. Forgive us and raise us from sin that we may be your faithful people, obeying the commands of our Lord Jesus Christ, who rules the world and is head of the church, his body. Amen. Let's take a moment to bring forth to God confessions silently from our heart. Brothers and sisters, hear the good news. Who is in a position to condemn? Only Christ. Christ died for us. Christ rose for us. Christ reigns in power for us. Christ prays for us. Anyone who is in Christ is a new creation. The old life has gone. A new life has begun. I believe the good news of the gospel. In Jesus Christ, I am forgiven. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Ghost, as it was in the beginning, is now and ever shall be. standing and now sing our congregational hymn 566 woke up this morning I woke up this morning with my mind stayed on Jesus woke up this morning with my mind stayed on Jesus woke up this morning on my mind Stayed on Jesus, hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. No condemnation with my mind. Stayed on Jesus, no condemnation with my mind. Stayed on Jesus, no condemnation with my mind. Stayed on Jesus, hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Walking and talking with my mind. Stayed on Jesus, walking and talking with my mind. Stayed on Jesus, walking and talking with my mind. Stayed on Jesus, hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Woke up this morning with my mind. Stayed on Jesus, woke up this morning with my mind. Stayed on Jesus, woke up this morning with my mind. Stayed on Jesus, hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. No condemnation with my mind. Stayed on Jesus, 
that we might be filled for ministry and mission. In Christ's name we pray. Amen. Amen. Our first lesson, the first lesson is Psalm 148 and will be read by Ms. Janet Romero. Good morning. I will be reading Psalm 148. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord from the heavens. Praise him in the heights. Praise him, all his angels. Praise him, all his hosts. Praise him, sun and moon. Praise him, all you stars of light. Praise him, you heavens of heavens, and you waters above the heavens. Let them praise the name of the Lord, for he commands it, and they were created. He also established them forever and ever. He made a decree which shall not pass away. Praise the Lord from the earth you great sea creatures and all the depths, fire and hail, snow and clouds, stormy wind fulfilling his word, mountains and all hills, fruitful trees and all cedars, beasts and all cattle, creeping things and flying fowl, kings of the earth and all peoples, princes and all judges of the earth, both young men and maidens, old men and children. Let them praise the name of the Lord for his name alone is exalted. His glory is above the earth and heaven, and he has exalted the horn of his people, the praise of all his saints, of the children of Israel, a people near to him. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Amen. This is the word of the Lord. Palm 
of his hand. The snare of the fowler shall never capture you, and the famine will bring you no fear. Under his wings, your refuge. His faithfulness, your shield, and I will raise you up on eagle's wings, bear you on the breath of dawn, make you to shine like the sun, and hold of his hand. You need not fear the terror by night, nor the arrows that fly by day. Though thousands shall fall about you, Near you it shall not come, and I will raise you up on eagle's wings, bear you on the breath of dawn, make you to shine like the sun. of his hand for the angels has given a command to guard you in all of your ways upon their hands they'll bear you all Lest you dash your feet against the stone, and I will bear you up on eagles' wings, bear you on the breath of dawn, make you to shine like the sun, and hold. of his hand and I will bear you up on eagle's wings bear you on the breath of dawn make you to shine like the sun the palm of his hand. Let the church say amen. 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 Give the Lord a hand praise. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Elder Aaron. Eric, thank you, choir, praise team. God bless you. Thank you for the petals. How beautiful are the feet. Wow, I barely got through that one. Thank you so much. Thank you all of those who have come to hear the word of God and to celebrate with me and Reverend Field today. Thank you for those out in our virtual community. We welcome you, we welcome you all this morning. Now, Reverend Field knows that I am not going to let this moment pass without introducing my tribe. 
Mother Fingo, my tribe is here. Amen. Y'all all kept saying, I know you don't have no four sons. Yes, I do, and they are here. Amen. All right, four sons, stand up, all of you. My, my daughter in love, my two grandbabies are here, Parker and Zara. And my future daughter-in-law is here, Brianna. <laughs> Amen. Ronald, Nathan, Jared, Aaron, Lynette, Brianna, Parker, and Zara. Woo! My tribe is here. <laughs> Amen. God bless you. I did not know they were coming. They surprised me. They lied to me. But they are here. I thank God that they are here to, so you can finally meet them. So you believe I really do have four sons. I really do. Amen. Uh, and two beautiful uh, daughters in love. And two gorgeous, the world's most gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous grandchildren in the whole wide world. Amen. Parker and Zara. And I might add one on the way. Amen. <laughs> Amen. Praise God. So I am so blessed. Uh, thank you so much again uh, for just your uh, love and care and support. And I'm going to try to get through this very quickly. Phil said, keep it short, Betty. Keep it short. <laughs> so I'm going to do my best to give you what the Holy Spirit has given me for you today, knowing that this will be the last time that I will officially, in official capacity as the... In transitional interim be in this sacred place. So I want to invite you to go with me to Isaiah chapter 40. If you'll turn your Bibles, if you'll open your devices or whatever you use to study the word of God to read, if you'll open it up to Isaiah chapter 40, I want to read verse 1 and 2 and then I want to jump all the way to the end of chapter 40 and read verse uh, 21 to 31. So if you'll join with me, if you'll read while I read along on your devices while I read. Here now is the word of God, Isaiah chapter 40, verse 1 and 2. The prophet said, comfort, comfort my people, says the Lord. Speak tenderly to Jerusalem and proclaim to her that her hard service has been completed, that her sin has been paid for that she has received from the Lord's hand double for all of her sins. And now if you'll jump over to verse 21, and I'll read 21 to 31. Do you not know? Have you not heard? Has it not been told you from the beginning? Have you not understood since the earth was founded that he sits enthroned above the circle of the earth, and his people are like grasshoppers. He stretches out the heavens like a canopy and spreads them out like a tent to live in. He brings princesses to naught and reduces the rulers of this world to nothing. No sooner are they planted, no sooner are they sown, no sooner do they take root in the ground than the wind blows upon them and they wither and a whirlwind sweeps them away like chaff. To whom will you compare me? Or who is my equal, says the Holy One? Lift up your eyes and look to the heavens. Who created all of this? He who brings out the starry host one by one and calls each one by name. Because of his great power and mighty strength, not one of them is missing. Why do you complain, Jacob? Why do you say, Israel, put your name in there. Why do you complain, put your name in there. Why do you say, put your name in there. My way is hidden from the Lord and my cause is disregarded by my God. Do you not know? Have you not heard? The Lord is the everlasting God, the creator of the ends of the earth. He will not grow tired or weary, and his understanding there no one can fathom. 
He gives strength to the weary and increases the power of the weak. Even youth shall grow tired and weary and young men shall stumble and fall. But those who hope in the Lord will renew their strength. They will soar on the wings of an eagle. They will run and not grow weary. They will walk and not faint. This is the word of the Lord for us today. Can you say thanks be to God? Amen. Amen. Will you pray with me and pray for me? Father, in the name of our Lord and Savior, Jesus the Christ, oh, the one who came, the one who is yet to come, we give you thanks and praise today. This is the day that you have made, and yes, 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 we will rejoice, we will celebrate, we will be sad, but this is your day, God, and we thank you for this day. We ask, O oh God, now as we come to the preaching moment that you will open our ears and our hearts, our understanding, so we may glean the riches that you have for us out of these words. Father God, I pray that I may decrease so that you may increase in me so that your people will see only Christ Jesus and hear your words to them today. This is our prayer in the name of Jesus Christ, our Lord and Savior. Let the people of God say, Amen and amen. amen. Keep on keeping on. Can you say that? Keep on keeping on. On February the 6th, 2012, just in time for Valentine's Day, director Michael Sussi released a movie called The Vow. This romantic drama is based on the true life story of a young couple by the name of Kim and Cricket Carpenter. In the movie, five years into their new marriage, the wife, whose name is Paige, is seriously injured in a car accident which leaves her in a coma. When Paige awakens from the coma, she has severe memory loss. She does not know who she is. She does not remember that she is married. She does not remember that she has a husband. She remembers nothing about her life before the accident. Because she has completely forgotten who her husband is, was, Leo, her husband Leo, has to work really hard to win her back, to win back her heart, and to make her fall in love with him all over again. Can you imagine the challenges of being in a relationship where one person completely forgets who you are or that the two of you were in a committed relationship at all? This mental amnesia is a result of a brain injury in this case. And there is another kind of amnesia that I believe this Old Testament prophet Isaiah was speaking to us today in this text. You see, God knows, God knows that we, the people of God, we are prone to forget. Somebody say amen. amen. We forget. We are prone to forget. I am always totally blown away and amazed when I read the Old Testament narratives of the many times that the people of God turned away from God and seemed to completely forget all about all the things that God had done for them. For instance, in the book of Exodus, how could the Israelites watch Yahweh God drive back the Red Sea with a strong east wind all night and turn that sea into dry ground so three million of them could walk over it? And when the Egyptian armies, their enemies of Yahweh, tried to follow them on this holy highway, Moses stretched out his hand over the waters, and the Pharaoh and all of his army was drowned in the sea. How could the people of God be eyewitnesses to such a catastrophic deliverance, and then three short days later, when they got to the city of Marah, the delivered brought out 
people begin to grumble and complain against Moses and against God and say, what are we going to drink? It is human nature to forget. And we Christians, sometimes we seriously have a tendency to forget who we are and the commitments that we have made to God and those commitments that God has made to us. We have a sort of spiritual amnesia. This is a kind of spiritual amnesia that causes us to doubt God's presence and God's purpose when things begin to fall apart in our lives, in times of crisis, in times of transition, in times when we hear the doctor say that dreaded word, it's cancer. When the test reveals that there's a spot on our lungs or a spot on our uterus, when a pastor leaves and we don't know who the new pastor is yet, spiritual amnesia can set in. Like the exiles in 2 Isaiah chapter 40, the people of God begin to whine and worry and wonder, where is God? Is God playing hide and seek with us? Has God abandoned us? Does God even care about our situation? You see, the real issue is and was that they had forgotten who they were and whose they were. They forgot that they had been taught. They forgot what they had been taught to believe. They lost their testimony of what God had done in their lives. They forgot how to talk about their faith in a godless world. Why do you say, O oh Jacob, and speak, O oh Israel, that my way is hidden from the Lord? The story is told of a five-year-old, a five-year-old boy in Sunday school. He was practicing his memory verse for the week. His memory verse was John 3:16. We all know it, it's very familiar. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son. However, when it came time for five-year-old Stephan to quote his memory verse, he said it like this. For God so loved the world that he gave his only forgotten son. Sometimes we Christians act like Jesus is God's forgotten son. Amen? That we do not have life and that more abundant because of our relationship with Christ. Have you forgotten about how great your God is, old first church? Do you not remember to recall all of the times that God has parted the impassable Red Seas in your life? Do you think that God has, has given his only forgotten son? When we have spiritual amnesia, our memory fails. Our spiritual memory fails and it affects our faith. And, our, and, and the faith of our community is threatened and we struggle with unbelief and fear and, and, and it takes over our minds when we have spiritual amnesia. You are watching the news out of Brooklyn, New York, that flashy Brooklyn pastor, the Bishop Lamar Miller Whitehead, who was robbed of about a million dollars worth of jewelry while he was in the pulpit preaching. You don't have to worry about that because I don't have no million dollars worth of jewelry on me this morning. And they came in the pulpit. He was up there preaching. He had about a million dollars worth of, worth of jewelry on himself and his wife. And, and a robber came into service and just at gunpoint just took it off of both of them. Did you all read that in the paper and saw it on the news this past week? Man, he must have spiritual amnesia. He must have forgotten about the sacredness of the call of God. That, that bling bling and, and designer clothes does not a preacher make. Amen? Now, I, I read recently that he's accused of stealing about $90,000 from one of his parishioners. Their life savings. Someone once said, don't lend people money because it causes them to have amnesia. <laughs> Y'all owe anybody in here money? You forgot to pay them back? Like forgetting where we put our keys or forgetting to take your medication on a daily basis or 
are forgetting to take your infant child out of a car when it's 100 degrees plus outside. My Lord, we are so prone to forget. But God continually calls us back, back to remembrance. Do you not know? Have you not heard that the Lord is the everlasting God, the creator of the ends of the earth? He does not grow tired or weary, and there is no, there is no understanding. There is no way to fathom his understanding. How can God call us back to members? How does God do it? God addressed our spiritual amnesia by instructing the prophet Isaiah to remind us, do you know who you're dealing with? <laughs> Forget about Russia. Forget about China. Forget about Iran and North Korea. Have you not heard? Don't you know by now? That the Lord, Yahweh, Elohim, Jehovah, is the everlasting God. Hallelujah. He has no beginning. He has no end. He is from everlasting to everlasting. Thou art God. He is the creator of the ends of the earth. I love the way Harold Melvin in the Blue Note said it. If you don't know me by now. So we fast forward to the gospel. God is calling us back to remember by sending Jesus Christ into the world. The good news of the gospel is the cure for our spiritual amnesia, our memory loss. It is our aircept. It is our medication. Much like the memory loss drug Aricept, daily doses of the gospel can improve our spiritual memory, heighten our social justice awareness, and improve our ability to function in a world that has forgotten his creator. God is calling us to remember how great God is. Listen, brothers and sisters, because of Jesus Christ, all, say all, all of Satan's power is broken. Darkness has turned to light. Sadness has been turned into joy. Sickness to health. Poverty to wealth. When Jesus comes, blinded eyes were opened. Blood issues were ceased. People were fed. The dead was brought back to life. Amen? Remember who you are. Remember who you are. Remember who you are dealing with. The word remember is found in the Old and New Testament 240 times. I'm not going to read them all. Remember the Sabbath to keep it holy. You remember that one? Remember also your creator in the days of your youth. You remember that one? I will remember the deeds of the Lord. Yes, I will remember the wonders of, your, of old. John 4. But the helper, the Holy Spirit, whom the Father will send in my name, he will teach you all things and bring to your remembrance all that I have said to you. Oh, First Church, you must remember God's faithfulness to this congregation for more than 350 years. And if God says so, this church and this congregation will be here another 350 years. Today, amen. Tomorrow, amen. Next Sunday, amen. When Elder Jerome Lane will be your preacher and Reverend Stephen Houston will stand before you and serve you communion, you are to keep on keeping on. Amen. Through our walk with the Holy Spirit in our lives, God continually calls us back to remembrance. Why does God go to such great lengths to remind the people of God, to remind us, to remind us 21st Christians today to remember? Because you watch the news in the midst of all of these new viruses that keep popping up, in the midst of this ongoing pandemic, in the midst of Russia holding American hostages against their will on some trumped up charges, and as they continue to bomb the H-E-double-L, -E I won't say it, <laughs> out of Ukraine, 
as food prices go over the top and you're paying $10 for a pound of hamburger and, and, and $10 for a chicken, as interest rates go up every two weeks, it seems, as black girls fall out of the back of police cars that the police say they accidentally forgot to close the door. It's enough to make us anxious and sad and scared all at the same time. God is here to remind us who you are and whose you are so that you will have the faith and the strength to keep on keeping on and so that you will not faint. Amen? And so finally, in Isaiah Tech, we see that we have a God who sits on the circle of the earth. We have a God who stretched out the heavens like a curtain, who calls every star in the galaxy by name. You know, stars have some really complicated names. You ever look up stars' names? Stars aren't called Joe and Mary and Margaret. No, stars are called uh, uh, Corona Borellis and Amadromeda and Vapetula. And God knows every single star and he calls millions and billions of stars by their names. And guess what? God knows your name too. Amen? We are reminded that we do not have to faint in times of trouble and stress and crisis and transition. We just need to keep on keeping on. He giveth power to the faint and to them that have no might, he increases their strength. Even the youth shall faint and be weary and young men shall utterly fall. But they that wait upon the Lord shall renew their strength. They shall mount up with wings as eagles. They shall run and not be weary. They shall walk and not faint. God does not grow weary. God does not need a vacation. Mother Fingo says God don't have no pajamas because he don't need to sleep. In these 21 years of ministry, I have never, listen, I have never been weary of God. Never. I have never been weary of God's work. Never. But I have been weary in the work. You hear me? There's a difference. I've never been weary of the work. But there are times when I have been weary in the work. You get weary. Even Jesus got weary in his natural human body and had to catch some Z's in the middle of a raging storm. The thing is, we do not faint. We do not lose our mind. We do not use our moral and spiritual compass. We do not lose our integrity. We do not lose our compassion for humankind. We do not take high-powered assault weapons to a school or a grocery store or a church and kill up innocent people. We do not put our knee on the neck of a black man and to the very last breath of his life is snuffed out on national television for all the world to see. We do not participate in a riot of the nation's capital with the intent to harm or even kill lawmakers. I love the way Donald Lawrence says it. Praise leader Donald Lawrence says, we are citizens of heaven. Amen? Amen. Say, I'm a citizen of heaven. Listen, saints, we have this treasure in the earthen vessels that the excellency of the power may be of God and not of us. Yes, we are pressed on every side by troubles, but we are not crushed or broken. We are perplexed sometimes, but we do not give way and give up. We don't quit. We don't walk away. We are hunted down, but God never abandons us. We are knocked down, but we just keep on getting up and we keep on keeping on. Amen. I love the way Dr. Martin Luther King said it back in 1956 when he was doing a march down in Montgomery, Alabama. He made this speech to the Montgomery Imp Improvement Association. He said, freedom doesn't come on a silver platter. 
With every great movement towards freedom, there will inevitably be some trials. Somebody will have to have the courage to sacrifice. You don't get to the promised land without going through the wilderness. You don't get there without crossing over hills and mountains. But if you keep on keeping on, you will reach the promised land. Amen? Beloved, do me one more thing before I, before I close. One more. Confess to yourself right now. No matter what happens in my life, I will not faint. Can you say that? I will not faint. The scripture says if you faint in the day of adversity, your strength is small. I don't want to give away the movie plot because some of you might want to tune in and watch this movie called The Vow. The sad part is that despite all of Leo's Herculean efforts to win his wife back, she never did remember their relationship. Paige never recovered her feelings for her husband. Well-meaning family members and friends watching Leo's heartbreak told him, let go, let go, move on. They advised Leo, let her go. Beloved, the world might say, let it go. Let God go. Where is God? But God will never, ever let you go. God will never leave you nor forsake you. Not today, not tomorrow, not ever. Today, God has called us back to remembrance by hearing the words of the prophet Isaiah. Old First Presbyterian Church, Newark, this is an exciting time in the life of your church. When the history books are open and these moments are read, I want the history books to say that during the transitional ministry of the Reverend Dr. Betty J. Time, Tom, August 2018 to July 2022, the church grew and thrived and made it through COVID. Amen. And I want your history books to say that after the Reverend Dr. Betty J. Tom's ministry was over, the church continued to grow and thrive under the leadership of their new pastor. Amen. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for the amazing privilege that I have had. to be called your pastor. I carry you, Reverend Phil and I carry you in our hearts as we embark on the new journey that God has for us. God bless you. God keep you. Beloved, as is our tradition here, let us stand and let us recite what we believe, our confession, It's printed in your bulletin, and I apologize. Deacon Gigi told me we ran out of bulletins today. I'm, I apologize that we didn't have enough bulletins for all of you. Some of you know this Apostles Creed by heart. Let's say it together. I believe in God the Father Almighty, the creator of heaven and earth. And I believe in Jesus Christ, his only son, our Lord, who was conceived by the power of the Holy Spirit and born of the Virgin Mary. He suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended to the dead, and on the third day he rose again. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father, and he will come again to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Universal Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting.
Amen and amen. You may be seated. Beloved, before I start the pastoral prayer, I want to invite anyone who does not know Jesus Christ. The great ends of the preaching of the gospel is that men and women might be saved, might come to know Christ as their Savior. I want to invite anyone in virtual land and here in person, if you do not know Christ in the pardon of your sins, I want to invite you to come down. What a wonderful way of living uh, to be a member of God's body. And if you want to be a member of this congregation, I invite you to come. And that's why our sister is here. She's told me a week ago, a couple of weeks ago, she said, I want to be a member of Old First Presbyterian Church. <laughs> and so she's coming today, amen, uh, as, a, as a reaffirmation of her faith. Amen. This is God's work. Anytime somebody want to join the church and they know the pastor is leaving, this is God's work, amen. This is God's work. And so we will, we will welcome our sister. I'll be down in just a minute. But session, uh, uh, um, she will not be, I will not be teaching the new members class, obviously. And so um, clerk of session, April Booker Russell, will be working with um, the new pastor to make sure that our sister gets into the new members classes and then is brought back before this congregation to receive the right hand of fellowship with all the rights and privileges of any other member of this congregation. And so, God bless you. I'm going to come down. Deacon Gigi, I need some water. Anything briefly you want to say? Briefly. Good morning, church. It's a pleasure. It's a joy. And I'm going to miss you. <laughs> My name is Veronica Rudolph. I'm 81 years old. God has blessed me that I don't have to take any medication. And I thank you all. I'm glad to be here. I'm going to miss you. Sister Veronica has helped me so much with the grab and go and in the mission ministry of this church and just came in and just did anything she needed to do in order to help us uh, with our mission and ministry. So we thank God for her and now she wants to be a member of the congregation. So God bless you, uh, Sister Veronica, and uh, we will, um, uh, Elder April, where is Elder April? Elder April will take your, your contact information and then again, when the new minister arrives, you will go through a new members class and then that person will present you back to the congregation for membership. God bless you. Sister Jeanette. Okay, she's coming up for prayer. All right. If you'll go with Sister April. Yeah, can you, can you, can you come a little closer, Ella Jeanette? Beloved. Now is the time for pastoral prayer. And so Elder Jeanette is standing for prayer. Amen. God bless you. And we want to ask you if you have a prayer request or you have a need, if you'll get that need before the Lord. If you so desire, you may come to the altar if you so desire. Um, bless you. Prayer for Sister Gigi. Amen. Deacon Gigi. Amen. God bless you. Come, Sister Gigi. The moderator of our deacon board. Amen. Please come. Amen. Praise God. Sister Kareen. All right. God bless you. God bless you. God bless you. Sister Angie. God bless you. Janet. God bless you. Thank you so much, Sister Janet. God bless you. God bless you. God bless you. God bless you. So good to see you. Amen. Sister Bridget, God bless you. He can Francois, God bless you. Sister Bridget, God bless you. Blessings of the Lord be upon you. I 
don't feel no waste time. your prayer need is I don't need to know God knows amen he is the creator of the ends of the earth there is no phantom of his understanding he gives power to the faint and to them that have no strength he increases might amen I don't know what your need is but God knows your need and God is standing here ready to meet your need amen when you have struggled and wrestled with it as long as you can give it over to God Amen. We come boldly to the throne of grace that we might find mercy to help in our time of need. So whatever your need is, even out there, if you don't want to come to the altar, just you can stand. Whatever your need is, let's take it before God right now in the name of Jesus. Let's take it before the Lord. Father, in the name of Jesus, we give you thanks. We give you praise. We honor you. We bless you. We love you. We adore you. You are our creator, friend, sustainer, deliverer, comforter. Oh God, we thank you today. You are ever faithful. Great is thy faithfulness. Morning by morning, new mercies we see. Lord, I thank you for these that have lined your altar this morning. I thank you, oh God, that they come by faith, Lord, trusting and believing at a point of contact. I'm just a point of contact for you, but God, you do the work. Lord, you flow through me to your people with your word, oh God, with your anointing. You do the work, oh Lord Jesus. Bless, Lord, heal, deliver, set free, meet every last one of us under the sound of my voice at the point of their need. Father, we know you can. We, we just got to believe that you will, that you have not left us, that you have not abandoned us, that you are not playing hide and seek with us, but you are here. You said, call upon me and I will answer you and show you great and mighty things that you know not. Lord, we're calling on you today. We're calling on your name. We, we come to your altar, oh God, in the spirit. We're bending down on our bending knees and we're lifting up our prayers to you because we believe you. We believe you. We trust you. We need you. We don't need more, more clothes. We don't need more material things. We don't need any of our other things, those things that don't bring us joy. We need a relationship with you. We need you, oh God. Oh God, speak to our hearts individually, uniquely, and specifically every need in this place today. Father, we thank you. And we will not forget. We will remember to give you all the praise and the honor and the glory. We won't take the blessing and run off and not give you the credit. We will say, guess what the Lord has done? We'll be careful to give you all the praise, the honor, and the glory. And Lord, now we pray the prayer that Jesus taught his disciples to pray, saying, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our debts as we forgive our debtors. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever and ever and ever and ever. Amen. 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 Somebody say amen. Somebody say thank you, Jesus. Somebody say hallelujah. Somebody say I love you, Lord. Hallelujah. God bless you. God bless you. Amen. Amen. 
Amen. You may be seated in the presence of the Lord. Amen. May the Lord God. May the Lord God bless you real good. Started me on my way. May the Lord God bless you real good. May the Lord God. May the Lord God bless you real good. May the Lord God bless you real good. Woke me up this morning. Started me on my way. May the Lord God bless you real good. May the Lord God. May the Lord God bless you real good. May the Lord God bless you real good. Woke me up this morning, started me on my way. May the Lord God bless you real good. Real good. Real good. Real good. May the Lord God bless you real good. May the Lord God, may the Lord God bless you real good. May the Lord God bless you real good. Woke me up this morning, started me on my way. May the Lord God bless you real good. May the Lord God, may the Lord God bless you real good. May the Lord God God bless you real good. Woke me up this morning, started me on my way. May the Lord God bless you real good. Real good. Real good. Real good. May the Lord God bless you real good. Real good. Real good. Real good. God bless you real good. May the Lord God. May the Lord God bless you real good. May the Lord God. May the Lord God bless you real good. Woke me up this morning, started me on my way. May the Lord God bless you real good. Send your blessings. Send your blessings. Send your blessings. Send your blessings, Lord. Send your blessings. Send your blessings. Send your blessings. Send your blessings. Send your blessings, Lord. Send your blessings. 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 Send your blessings, Lord. Send your blessings. 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 Send your blessings, Lord. Send your blessings, Lord. Send your blessings. Real good. Real good. Real good. May the Lord God bless you. Real good. Real good. Real good. Real good. May the Lord God bless you real good. Amen. Amen. Okay, our final, our final song is number 321 Spirit Song. Open your hymnals to number 321 Spirit Song. Let's sing together. Satisfy your soul. 
Oh, let him have the things that hold you, and his spirit like a dove will descend upon your life and make you whole. Jesus, oh Jesus, come and fill your land. As your hearts are filled with joy, lift your hands in sweet surrender to his name. Oh, give him all your tears and sadness, give him all your years of pain, and you'll enter into life in Jesus' name. beloved this is it amen amen but you are in good hands you know why because you're in God's hands amen, amen. amen. preachers will come and preachers will go and people will come and people will go but God will never ever leave is into his wonderful wonderful capable loving strong arms that I commend you today and now unto him that is able to keep you from falling and to present you without blemish before his presence with glory, with rejoicing. To the only God, our Savior, through Jesus Christ, our Lord, be glory and majesty, dominion and power, both now and forever. Just singing, yes. Okay. I want to invite you all to Burr Hall if you can stay. And have, they have a they have a beautiful celebration, food in Burr Hall. I want to invite you to stay if you can. I would love to see you, hug you, bump your hand or something. God Jesus. bless you. Jesus, oh Jesus, come and fill your land.
Amen.